in today's video i wanted to share with you all my word for 2022 which is hey everyone it's chelsea and i'm back with another video in today's video i wanted to share with you all my word for 2022 which is godfident now my definition of godfident means having the confidence in god that his will will be done and you will see the victory despite any and every opposition so of course the word godfident comes from the two words God and confidence so I want to speak just a little bit about the difference and tell you all the definition of confidence the definition of confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something a firm trust the state of feeling certain about the truth of something so that's confidence I'm gonna add to both of those definitions the feeling or belief that one can rely on God, firm trust, and then that second one, the state of feeling certain about the truth, capital T, and we're going to think about that as being the word of God of something. And you know, we'll take out the of something. We'll just say the state of feeling certain about the truth. So when you make those small changes to the confidence definition, then you will have Godfidence. Now, Godfidence doesn't just come easily. It doesn't happen overnight. It does take dedication and some planning and putting in some effort. Romans 12, chapter 2 says, Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So in order to gain Godfidence, we have to renew our minds. So these are the steps I'm planning on taking in 2022 to renew my mind and gain confidence. The first one is I plan on spending more time in the Bible. My goal is to read the Bible every night, Monday through Friday, for about 10 to 15 minutes. So while I'm reading the Bible, I'm going to make sure that I am taking notes, that I'm cross-referencing, and just making sure that I really understand the scriptures that I'm reading. I want to make sure that those scriptures are really seeping into my spirit and that I am writing God's word on my heart so that in times when I'm doubtful or wavering I can call on those scriptures I can remember those scriptures and that is how I'll have that Godfidence I'll remember what the word says and what the truth says my second step is I will be believing in my prayers Mark 11 24 says therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe you will receive it and it will be yours so that means that when I pray from now on I'm not just gonna hope that God answers my prayer I'm gonna believe in them so that means after I pray I'm not just gonna walk away and keep doing the same things that I've been doing but I'm gonna prepare and ready myself to receive the blessings and opportunities that I've asked God for number three is reflecting on and speaking Bible verses whenever I feel doubtful or whenever I feel like giving up or like I want to quit or just too tired to keep going I want to make sure that I'm reflecting on and speaking Bible verses and I already have two verses that I'm considering my verses for the year and that's Jeremiah 29 11 and one that I've mentioned in my last video Philippians 1 6 Jeremiah 29 11 says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future and philippians 1 6 says this being confident of this he who began a good work in you will carry it on until completion until the day of christ jesus so those verses spoke to me and they helped me to remember that this plan that god has started he is going to finish so i can't quit I have to keep going because I'm not doing it for myself anymore. I'm doing this for God and for his people. So those are a couple of ways that I'm going to be developing my Godfidence. Now I want to share with you how I plan on implementing that Godfidence once I've gained it or as I'm gaining it. Number one is being disciplined. It is really my goal to keep posting YouTube videos despite low views or not getting likes or whatever. I'm just going to keep posting because like I said, 
this isn't for me anymore. It's for God's people. And I am confident that God is going to carry out his plan. All I have to do is record and upload. So definitely being disciplined. The second way I'm going to be implementing my Godfidence is shamelessly promoting myself. That means I'm going to be telling way more people about my YouTube channel and about the ministry that I'm building up. It's called You Grow Girl. And I won't be hiding it or downplaying it anymore, but I'm going to be speaking with confidence and sharing what I'm doing with everyone that I come in contact with. Maybe not everyone, <laughs> but a lot more than I have in the past. So with that being said, if you would like me to come speak at any event that you are hosting, please let me know by emailing me. I'll have my email on the screen and in the description below. So that's just a couple of ways that I plan to implement my confidence in 2022. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to pass it along to anyone that you think may need it. Thanks again for checking out the video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Calling your phone, why you not hitting me back? Please just pick up, don't want to go tip a tat. Arguing on Versus this, then it's that Killing my vibe Now I'm writing this rap This is not another love song Girl, you got me and me sprung on